Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'm going to be doing my budget with me for August. Um, thank you all so much to everyone who has messaged me recently over Instagram. Um, I am struggling with my mental health a little bit, but I'd rather just get the videos out here and keep myself accountable because I do enjoy budgeting and um, long term it really does benefit me so I want to keep going with it and yeah I'm a strong person <laughs> so I'll get there just taking it easy enjoying the holidays when I can um and yeah so to get started I'm just going to go through what we're getting paid this month and then we'll, we'll just fill in what we're doing um I've not filled in what I've actually got going on this month um, I've got my Henny which is from the 4th to the Sunday but obviously that's all paid for and I've got my spending money ready as well. Um, I go back to work on the 14th so not long now until I go back to work which is yep <laughs> waiting for the October holidays now I suppose um, and then yeah there's not much else that's going on I don't think I can't think of anything anyway I've probably forgotten something. But anyway, let's get through this. So, um, I'm getting paid £1,329 um, and the joint account is getting £1,350. Now, I've said before, obviously, like Ryan keeps money for himself and then just puts everything else into the joint account because I do do this for our family. It's not just for me. Um, so, he's totally fine doing that. Um, so he's got one, three, two, nine, plus Ryan's one, three, fifty. That's two, six, seven, nine. So we're going to minus the bills, which is one thousand and eighty-seven. One thousand one hundred eighty-seven. So that leaves one thousand four hundred and ninety-two. Did I count that right? Yeah. I'm just going to double check it. Um. Yep. One one eight seven, one four nine two. Cool. Yeah, a few people on messages actually said like just leave the budget in, just don't bother this month, just come back next month. I physically actually can't do that anymore. Now, like now that I've started this, I can't do it because it would just make me stress more. I think, um, and especially with the wedding being in September, like I know it's the end of September, but I've only literally got this pay and august pay and before the wedding um and there's a couple of things that have added to the stress as well like with the wedding to do with the wedding um my friend was originally going to be doing the, the wedding cake and he's had some bad news within the family so he can no longer do the cake for the wedding um and it's left me eight weeks to find somebody new and obviously it was going to be a gift for us for our wedding gift like a cake so it was going to be saving us a good chunk of money um, and now I need to kind of budget an extra £350 for a cake, which I wasn't counting on, but it's fine. I'll just deal with it. Um, Okie doke. So I'm going to put up here 1492 and then we're going to take away 360 for the groceries. So that's £90 a week. So 360 Um, £40 per household for the month. So that's 10 a week. Fuel, I'll probably bring down to 140 for the month. S miscellaneous is going to be 20. Spending is going to be 40 for the month. Um, kids is going to be 40. And Lucas will be 40. Because he's still needing his nappies and wipes and stuff. And then days out will be 50. We do still have a little bit in the summer holidays. Um, but obviously just in case there does anything come up in August. Okie doke. So that leaves us 762. So I'm just going to write... Oh, do you know what I'm doing? No, I'm not going to bother. Okay, so next I'm going to do it in priority. Um, I'm going to put £300 into wedding... Now this is just £300 from this budget. I'm going to put some more into it once I get like the child benefit money and my YouTube money as well. Because um, obviously that will give it a good boost. It's just that £300 is like my minimum. 
just now. And now, date night and eating out it used to get 50 a month, but I think I'm just going to put um, let's just put 40 because we've not got anything planned. So, for date night, I would quite like to save up for like a weekend away or something. So, that's 80. Now, let's come over here. I'm guessing Lucas get. 25 and 25 so they get 25 each so that's 50 um mum's not getting anything her birthday's just passed ryan and kerry what are our what's it for this month let's see these little trackers are actually from dd louise budgets but i don't think she actually has an etsy shop open anymore um yeah so 20 pounds each so that's 40 pounds so 20 and 20. Gift up at 20 in because we've got Ryan's mum and dad coming up in September. Um, I'm going to put nothing in here just now because we're running a little low. I was going to put some money into Christmas but it was originally going to be 250 and then 50 for Christmas. Um, but with this wedding expense, I'm thinking that I'm just going to pause Christmas just now until the wedding is fully, like, I'm fully confident with it. Um, and then once that's done with, I can then refocus on Christmas. Yep. Costco's not getting anything. So let's start with what's not getting anything. Um, mortgage isn't getting anything. Neither is appliances. Health. Health can get 20. Garden is not getting anything. Home can get 10. Emergency can get 40, so that's 10 pence a week. I'm quite happy with just doing that just now. Um, car cannot get anything. I'll put something in it from my whatever payment next. <laughs> um, as you can tell, I'm a bit flustered today. I'm just not with it, but I need to do this. I'm going to put Ooh, 50 into annuals. Um, oh, self care. And I'm missing something on here. What is it? Um, self care, we're about 30. I'm definitely missing something. Um, oh. Time with friends, which is in mine, so I'll just put it here. There we go. And I do write on the side, it's, yeah, it's just the way I do it. <laughs> um, let's put 50 in there because I might have things coming up. I don't know. Now, oh, seasonal, I'm going to put 30. Because that's paying back myself for the air fryer. I'm going to put 20 into challenges because I want to do the scratch off one. And I'll put... Oh, wait a minute. Ten into Halloween. And then we've got another ten. Let me think. Hmm, what will we do with it? I'm putting nothing in this one because I'm not focused on it just now. Oh. Um, clothing can have 10. Right, so let's just add this up just to make sure that we're all correct. <laughs> 20, 30, 10, 50, 40. 20, 10, um, 300, 10, 40, 40, 50, 50, 30, 20, and then 40 for both of us, 50 for the kids, 50 for days out, 40 for Lucas, then 80 there, 120, <gasps> that was close. Um, 
Oh, why, did I, why did I put 120? Oh, I'll just put the 40 to compensate. 40 and name 360. Hmm, let me see. Have I just counted that wrong? 360. 140, 20. Then there's 120 there. There's a 50. 50. 40. 20. And then 30. 50. Sorry for the radio silence. And then down to make 50. Yeah, I don't know what I've done there. Anyway, £1,490 in total, which is all what we've got. So we've got £2 left over. Um, and then, yes, so I'm going to quickly split this up and then I'll show you how I am splitting it up. Okay, so here is how I split it up. So basically, um, I've put for like the whole month, what was 1,490? Um, and then I have put 250 for wedding and 50 for Christmas, but I'm still unsure whether I'll just put the whole 300 into wedding. I think that's probably the best idea to do it. And then that way I can add more and then focus on Christmas once the wedding's over with. I will just wait and see how it plans out. Um, and I might be over budgeting for the wedding, but obviously I'd rather be under over budget than under budget and then have left over to stuff into whatever else. Um, but that's how it's looking. This was my bills from last month, which I forgot to tick off the rest for. But it's all good and they would all come out. Um, so that's it for August. So I hope you all enjoyed. Have a wonderful week and I will speak to you all very soon. If you've got any questions about budgeting or anything, just message me on here and um, like leave a comment. Or if you want to, you can message me on Instagram as well. Um, always reply. But yeah, thank you very much.